Hi everyone, so this is what my nails look like after a year of gels and constant acrylics. And I wanted to make this video because, well, for several reasons. One, because I've had a lot of ladies inboxing me telling me that they want to get off their gels and acrylics and they want to go back to their natural nails. Two, it's because I do want to grow back my natural nails. Three, the refills were getting very tedious and time consuming for me and I wanted to get back on track with my natural nails. As you guys know, I started this channel out with natural nails and I went to gels. I showed you guys all kinds of methods and I know that what I'm going through and my experience will help so many of you out there. It's very important that the first month after you remove your acrylics that you moisturize your nails and cuticles with vitamin E oil. If you do not have vitamin E oil, you can also use any other kind of cuticle oil. Um, you can also use sunflower oil or olive oil, um, almond oil. All of these oils you can find, uh, well the almond oil and the olive oil you can find in your grocery store. The vitamin E oil you can find at your local pharmacies. And like I've said before, the higher the um, international units, the better it will be for your nails. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do throughout the first month, really, is just keep my nails hydrated with oil as many times a day as I can, as often as I can, even if I am still doing designs on super short nails, I will still keep them hydrated because they will need that extra moisture and hydration put all those lipids back into your uh, cuticles and also the nail plate because it will be very weak and fragile at this time and you want to do that to all of the nails as much as you can like I said this is going to be very important and as your nails will grow like I said you will have some setbacks because if you filed on the natural nail it will be quite weak and thin so that will have to grow out and as it does grow out that part will also be very weak and thin but you will see the new growth coming down and when that is going to grow out it will be nice and strong and uh, that's when you're going to have nice healthy nails so keep watching you guys and let me show you how I took off the acrylics on this hand Hi everyone, so I am back and this is the end of the second month of my nail journey and I want to show you guys the progress of my nails so far after removing the gels and acrylics and this is what they look like basically if you guys can see they have grown down to the halfway mark and they're still looking pretty bad especially here at the tips where the nails are very thin and I've already told you guys before that this part here where the nails were filed is very weak and very thin and you can probably see it a little bit and one of the things that can also happen is 
because this part here that's very filed and very thin it can actually lift and this is what happened to several of the nails I caught it on something and it lifted and that just creates a pocket of air it's just basically lifted from the nail bed and dirt and debris can get in there and it can cause a fungal infection so what I actually do is um, I put tea tree oil in my vitamin E oil and that will prevent any kind of fungus from starting up and I've brushed my nails but it's really really hard to get in between where those lifted parts are so I mean any of this stuff that you guys see here I just cannot clean that out I just basically have to wait for the nails to literally grow out and they're coming along I mean you know they've they haven't looked this bad in very many years, which was the last time that I wore gels for an extended period of time of eight years. For the second month of treatment, you do not want to use any nail hardener or strengthener. Think of your nails as the foundation of a house. If the foundation of the house is weak, anything that you put on top will just crumble. And that's what happens with nails too. If you're going to apply a nail hardener or strengthener to your weak thin fragile nails it will not last so it will start to peel and chip so it just won't work basically and I've tried to let them um, polish free and anything free for the entire month but that's obviously really hard because I do nail tutorials pretty much all the time but I tried to keep them without polish or even base coat or anything for as much uh, period of time as I can if you want to make sure you don't have any fungal infections on your nails Add a few drops of tea tree oil, which you guys can find pretty much anywhere. Any drugstore should sell tea tree oil in its purest form like this. Add a few drops to your favorite cuticle oil and that should help make sure there's no fungal infections. So I'm going to show you guys the treatment that I used for the entire month and I'm still going to continue using it for a long time because I do love the benefits of this treatment. And that treatment would be garlic that's right so in this little bowl I've got one clove of garlic that I just crushed and I know that many of you might not like the smell but garlic contains over a hundred properties and it's anti-cancerous anti-aging it's got lots of antioxidant properties antifungal okay and it's really good for the inside of your body but it can also be used for your nails as well it fights off bacteria and infections it lowers blood pressure if you ingest it and um, it's got so many beneficial properties and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that but let me show you what I do and how I use the garlic now I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where ladies use the garlic and they crush it up like this and they put it in their clear top coat the reason I don't really like to do that is because Garlic in its purest form is beneficial and healthy for you, but once you introduce it into a nail hardener or a top coat that's already got um, man-made chemicals, it destroys all of the beneficial nutrients of the garlic. So I like using it raw like this. And basically what you do is you just take the crushed or minced garlic and you just rub rub it into your cuticles and into your nails and as you rub it you will notice that it's got this sort of like an oily feel to it and that's all those enzymes that it's releasing into the nails and this will help with peeling and chipping okay the garlic also has a lot of vitamins you guys a lot of vitamins and minerals it has thiamine so b1 b2 riboflavin it has niacin okay it has b6 it has zinc calcium phosphorus which is what causes that smell that's quite unpleasant for some but i particularly love garlic and um, it has vitamin c it has iron magnesium and selenium so this is a perfect treatment for your nails, even at this stage when they're still very weak. But as you can see, the new growth is very healthy and beautiful. Now, that's going to dry on your fingers and you will feel that they start to get a little bit sticky. I would leave that on the nails for several minutes. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about nails because they're made up of long chains of amino acids. Okay, they're made up of keratin, but also of long chain amino acids which cross-link together. 
okay? And when you apply a nail hardener, it just creates more cross-linking. And that's why we get those long, beautiful, strong nails. However, if you uh, use the, long, uh, the hardeners for a prolonged period of time, it creates too many long chain um, amino acids. And that can also have a reverse effect, which will cause your nails to be brittle and break and crack and peel, which is one of the problems that I have uh, with my nails when they do get to a certain length they start to peel and chip and this will prevent that because the oil from the garlic will introduce those minerals into your nails it fights heart disease it's anti-cancers it lowers blood pressures you can take garlic instead of those man-made pills to lower your blood pressure now what are you going to do with this garlic that's just sitting here well i've devised another option for you guys here i've got an empty just nail polish remover bottle that I've washed and cleaned and let air dry and inside it I've got a little bit of sunflower oil you can also use vitamin E oil if you would like I didn't put a lot because I want to do small batches you're going to take your minced garlic and you're just going to pop it right in here this is going to be a little bit messy but this will work trust me because I've been doing this and I did this treatment when I had my natural nails that were very long so I know that this works so just put your garlic in there and you're going to let your garlic marinate into this oil mixture. You're going to sift it and just pour it into a bottle like I've done here. This is an old top coat bottle that I cleaned with some acetone and washed and then I just poured the oil from this bottle here into this bottle and there you have your own garlic oil and do small batches at once like I said because you don't want this to go rancid and I would just I keep it in the fridge and it stays pretty well so I don't have any problems with it and then you can just rub that oil all over into your cuticles and you get both the benefits of the oil that's moisturizing and also the garlic on your nails and personally like I said I love the taste and smell of garlic so it doesn't bother me at all once you wash your hands a couple of times the smell is gone okay so I've just washed my hands and as you can see they look nice and healthy around the cuticles so now I'm just going to use my garlic infused oil on my nails and cuticles and so there you guys have it this is the treatment for my nail journey for the second month and I will be back sometime at the end of next month of my third month to show you the progress and to also update you with another nail treatment that you can do to help your nails grow and stay flexible and beautiful and strong so keep watching hi everybody I am back and I want to show you guys another treatment for this month and uh, I didn't come back at the end of my third month because not a lot was happening the damage was growing out nicely and um, to be quite honest I really didn't have that much time to sit down and just update you all and it is now uh, the end of the fourth month and I just want to show you guys the progress and I also want to talk to you about some different nail treatments and nail soaks that you can do to help your nails grow a little bit faster I'm just going to zoom you guys in real quick and as you can see, the damage is right there at the tip, just about ready to literally be gone. So I would say about another week or so, my nails will start to grow nice and strong. So as you can see here is what they look like now. They're still a little bit beaten and rough looking because I've been using my hands quite a lot in the last month I've been doing a lot of stuff and look at that thumbnail there as you can see the damage where the over filing is it's pretty much almost gone and at this point I'm going to show you guys one of the treatments that I did last month and one that really does work and I've seen a lot on YouTube and I'm not taking credit for this one because I've seen other ladies do it like my friend love for nails and uh, you guys can check her nail treatment videos out and see the treatment but basically what I've got in this bowl right here is um, have a cup of distilled white vinegar next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some 
Himalayan natural salt and those little black things you guys see that's part of the minerals that grow naturally and what I usually do is just sprinkle a little bit in there now the salt will have a lot of minerals so that will soak into your nails and it's also very beneficial for your fingers and your nails next right here what I've got is a little bit of sunflower oil and you want to put just maybe half a teaspoon or so and I'm just going to shake that up and what you want to do is soak all of your nails into this mixture now vinegar is very beneficial because it has a lot of antiseptic and antibacterial benefits it acts like a preservative so it preserves you know when you're pickling vegetables and things like that it makes them nice and crunchy but it also preserves them well the effect that you get on the nails it, it makes them nice and flexible so that when you bend your nail when they are longer they won't tend to break as often and the oil will also moisturize and hydrate your nails and the minerals that you will get from the salt into your nail plate will also be beneficial to your nails and you can do this treatment about once a week usually is what I, I do it um, and I will tend to do it more when my nails will get longer at this point it's good because it will help keep them nice and and flexible and hydrated but once they start to grow a little bit longer this will really really help and you can also add instead of the salt you can also add baking soda and you want to soak about 10 minutes or so and then um, wash your hands real good and I'm gonna come back and show you guys some of the other treatments that you can do for your nails one of the other treatments that I do like to indulge my nails in every now and then is lemons and usually every morning what I do is I squeeze myself a lemon and I drink it with water that's the first thing that I, I do not only is it good for your kidneys and it's a great antioxidant for your body it flushes out toxins but it's also great for your nails it brightens and whitens your nails so what I do after I've squeezed the juice out and you can see the little pulp is still left in there I just basically take my hand and I just sort of dig right in there and all of that lemon and citric juice gets right underneath your nails and it cleans your nails it keeps them nice and bright if you've got staining from dark nail polishes this is also great but you're getting all the benefits of the vitamins and nutrients from the lemon juice and as you can see how much brighter my nails become once I do that so I just use two little pieces here it's from one lemon that I squeezed and I just use the halves and the seeds are still in there and I just use it as a little pod to put my fingers in there and just scrub around and as you can see look how much brighter my nails are and I usually do this about once every two weeks or so when I do remember um, but you can also soak your nails in orange juice that has a lot of vitamin C as well and it's also beneficial. It also helps your nails grow. There's many, many different soaks that you guys can use for your nails. If you don't like to soak your nails, I'm going to show you guys something else that you can use instead of the lemon or orange soak. If you don't want to use the orange itself, you can also purchase an orange essential oil, which is what I've done here. And oil is also just as effective as the actual orange, and it's actually a little bit more concentrated. So what I do is basically I pour a few, about 10 to 20 drops into my vitamin E oil, which is what I've done here. This is my bottle with vitamin E oil, and I've added a few orange essential oil drops and I usually apply this to my nails every night and I try to stick to the three times a day rule or longer but I know I have been neglecting my nails lately because I've been just so busy but this will also make your nails nice and strong and 
The key here to your nails after you've removed your gels or acrylics is just to hydrate them. Give your nails what they want, which is moisturization. So any kind of product that you can put on your nails that's going to be nice and oily and moisturizing, that's what your nails will need. And the orange essential oil is actually great. You can actually use it in, um, in the tub if you're soaking. You can use it as a massage oil. And like I said, it has tons of vitamin C, which is great for the nails. It's a great antiseptic for your nails as well. And it has, like I said, many, many benefits when you apply it on your nails. And if you don't like to do the uh, orange soak, then you can just go ahead and use your orange essential oil that will work just as well because it's very concentrated. And at this point, now I'm going to start using my nail strengtheners and hardeners and whatnot and I will have another update video at some point when my nails get a little bit longer and I will also be talking more about nail hardeners and strengtheners and what to start out with at this point when your nails are this short and um, you want to grow them to your favorite desirable length so please be on the lookout for that video I will also link other videos in the description bar below on other ways to grow your nails naturally and um, I won't uh, show you guys that in this video because I've, I've made other videos about that but you guys can go check that out and I hope this video has helped so many of you out there who have removed gels or acrylics that you have worn for prolonged periods of time and um, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and commenting if you have. And keep watching. Like I said, I will have an update video at some point, maybe in about two months or so, depending how long it takes me to shoot it, um, and as well as my progress of my nails. And I will go into more detail on hardeners and strengtheners and which ones work and which ones don't and what to look out for um, when you're trying to grow your nails out. So thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.